So we got an extended trailer for Dragon Ball Super Episode 129, the preview for it. And as most may know, this is a pretty big deal. This is the final fight of the Tournament of Power, but also of Dragon Ball Super because Dragon Ball Super is obviously ending. Everybody knows by now. And if you don't know, now you know. Episode 131 of Dragon Ball Super will be the final episode. But it seems as though 129 and 130 potentially. But for the most part, definitely 129 is going to be nothing but absolute action insanity with the occasional oh shit everybody reacting in the crowd but definitely is going to be focusing in on Goku versus Jiren and an incredible battle and I'm not gonna lie because this is mainly reaction but also just kind of you know talking my ideas and theories and you know just what we see in this preview for Dragon Ball Super 129 but this looks incredible like they are pulling out all the stops which again makes me wonder how much action is going to be in 130 if 129 they are really pumping it and you see in this that Goku is in the semi ultra master thingy majig like we have the ultra instinct and then there's mastered ultra instinct he's in the black haired form throughout the trailer up until the end where they once again tease the shot that we've seen many times of Goku half of his body or majority of his body but like right up to here it cuts off you don't see what he looks like there and you get to see you know the new form the white haired or silver haired ultra instinct which is mastered ultra instinct and I think it actually has a couple different translations right now they're not actually saying what it's called a lot of people are saying MUI, but yeah, we, we, we get to see a little bit of that form. But for the most part, 129 is again going to be focusing in on Goku in the Ultra Instinct form against Jiren. And I thought maybe a few minutes might be it or whatever. But based on this preview, it seems as though majority of the episode is going to be in that form. Which means they potentially put a lot of resources and a lot of their best talents on both of these episodes. And I'm hoping that's the case because if 129, right, looking at 129 in this preview, it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. Like, this looks damn near movie quality when Goku is charging in on Jiren you see his hair flowing in the wind and shit it's like it looks breathtaking which is incredible and I'm so happy but it makes me a little bit just a little bit nervous for 130 if Toei is going to follow up or not I mean they did do that one time the big one hour special which that would have been incredible I think that would have been a great way to do a one hour special and then the following week we get one final episode to wrap Dragon Ball Super up but they're going to do it like this with 129 and 130 which means that again 130 might not be that long because okay if Goku going into the Mastered Ultra Instinct form right and he's fighting Jiren throughout the episode and even though Jiren is not necessarily winning it seems as though that's not going to be enough right because why else would Goku have to go into the MUI form if Ultra Instinct is fine you know what I'm saying that like it's perfectly okay and it should be enough to be Jiren so that means that Jiren is so freaking strong that even the Ultra Instinct form won't be enough he's still going to be throwing hands I mean don't get me wrong at the end of episode 128 we see that Goku is maneuvering around Jiren Jiren can't do much against him you know it's completely an outclassing at that point but it seems as though Jiren wasn't still giving it his all and that's probably what it is which is again a lot of people keep comparing it to you know Yu Yu Hakusho uh, Toguro the younger Toguro in the final fight against Yusuke how he kept on this is 100% 120 Jiren's probably gonna be using 100% in the following episode or maybe in this episode shall I say with 129 we're going to be seeing him using that because again why else would it be that all of a sudden, you know, a whole episode is going to take Goku and then he's going to be able to throw it off Goku and Goku is going to have to go into another form. Anytime anybody ever has to go into another transformation in anime is either that they're just bragging or it's that they really need the boost. And Goku's not going to just be in the middle of the fucking ring like, hey, Dragon Ball Super's ending, so I'm going to brag real, real quick. Check this shit out. It means that he more than likely has to pull that out, which showcases that Jiren ain't nothing to bug with. He truly is uh, that of a god of destruction. And again, I'm wondering now where these power levels are at. And they'll probably keep it very vague. I think if we do get confirmation that Goku and, and Jiren have surpassed Beerus, it'll be a line and that about it. And it'll be probably even a vague line that people will argue back and forth like, does that confirm that Goku's surpassed him or whatever? But we see that they're up there with the gods at this point. If Ultra Instinct, the first time they've seen it, we and Beerus, and Beerus is kind of freaking out about it, and there's a level beyond that, then they probably are there. They probably have reached, or Goku at the very least, has reached that of the gods of destruction, especially Beerus, and that, that's exciting to think about, but we've definitely already talked enough about that in a few videos, and we'll still talk about that, obviously, when the episodes drop, but mainly, again, with this trailer, it's making me wonder, is 130 going to be able to back up with 129 showcases, and that's a big deal, because they're, first of all, promoting it very heavily, because we had that break, and they're showcasing, like, oh, shit, you know, this is going to be that episode, or whatever, but it's like, okay, we, we have that break, are they gonna be able to do the same thing without a break, and 130, because, again, this is the final fight, and, and 
particular, if 130 is following up and there's still more action to be done in 130, Goku still has to use the silver-haired form to finish off Jiren. I don't know if they're going to finish off Jiren in 129 or is it going to be like maybe the beginning to the end of, of 130. Somewhere within 130, it'll be the end of the fight. But again, that just makes me a little bit nervous that 130 will not be able to top 129, which if you think about it, if 131 is going to be completely actionless, right? It's going to be a retrospect. It's going to be the characters interacting with each other. Goku, you know, going back home to his family. Um, Bulma, the, the first time we're going to be able to see Bulma again since, you know, everything that happened with the tragic passing of the voice actress and stuff like that. If we're going to see all those scenes, then honestly, 130 is technically the end of the action-packed stuff of Dragon Ball. So that should technically be, again, unless 129 is the end of the fight of Goku versus Jiren, then 130 should be the best-looking episode. So that's my only, you know, question there because, again, the preview of 129, Goku going against Jiren and Jiren throwing him off, and it seems as though there's a similar encounter to what happened in their first fight with, like, a bomb going off, you know, spirit bomb or whatever, and Goku's floating back, which means that Jiren has some tricks up his sleeve and obviously if he's going to go even further and use his max strength against Goku then yeah his max strength is that of Ultra Instinct or possibly slightly above which is why Goku would have to go into that or it could be that Jiren surprises Goku they're going at it non-stop and maybe they're slightly even and Goku's like okay I still need that power there's only like a minute or two left I gotta get it done and then bam that's how he gets it done I'm imagining or why he needs to go into that further transformation because a lot of people are shitting on Ultra Instinct now they're saying that so what was the point of this form to begin with on top of that there's the whole debate of how the fuck goku mastered his ultra instincts within a 20 minute time span because he just learned ultra instinct and then mastered it within 20 minutes of this realm i think it'd be interesting to see if when they get out of this some time has passed i know i think there was already confirmation that there's not a big time gap between this world and the normal world but it would have been more interesting that way that way we come home and we could have a believable time skip this time around with goten and trunks because they shouldn't look like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Many, many years have passed. Not many, many, but quite a few years have passed in Dragon Ball Super's time zone where they should be, you know, looking 13-ish or something like that, not still looking 7 and 8 of what they looked in the beginning of, you know, the Boo Saga before the tournament. They're like, come on now. And I guess also I got to kind of question just what is going to be the difference between Ultra Instinct and Mastered Ultra Instinct. Is it going to be that Mastered Ultra Instinct has new abilities that are different? Is it just going to be a strength boost? And I, I want them to get a little bit more specific into that. Is that just a solely? Because, you know, this is abilities that Beerus hasn't even mastered yet, right? And if Goku is doing that, because you got to think, I mean, it's already been confirmed by Whis that Beerus has a mastered Ultra Instinct. So essentially, maybe Beerus was at the point of black-haired form and white-haired, silver-haired form is surpassing Jiren and even Beerus. So there's that thought. But again, I want to see what's the difference other than strength between the two forms. Because as of right now, Ultra Instinct really wasn't all that different ability-wise um, from, you know, Super Saiyan Blue. Again, aside from a power buff, like I would love to see different techniques of some sort. You know, Dragon Ball has been delving into doing what more modern anime do with adding like people having quirks and different powers and stuff like that. That'd be interesting to see if Dragon Ball would have done that or will do that with Master Ultra Instinct if there's some techniques like a Kamehameha that like I don't know disappears from one end or well something like that's been done already but just something creative you know what I mean I'm being very lame right now with it but something creative to put a difference between the two of them besides strength and again Holy shit, we did say Beerus has not mastered those techniques. And Ultra Instinct means that if that's the playing form that Beerus has, then probably mastered truly has surpassed Beerus. But again, as a whole, the extended preview for episode 129 of Dragon Ball Super looks insane. It's going to be just a, a, an all-out battle. And I'm also kind of glad in a way um, that we're going to see the Ultra Instinct really, you know, in a full-on battle because the first time we seen the regular form, it was only for a couple minutes, Goku and Jiren, and obviously Goku ran out of time. This time around, he's going to be fighting in it for probably a bit longer, but it makes me wonder who's getting the shorter end of the stick. If it's going to be the regular Ultra Instinct that's just going to have like a decent amount of time and Master Ultra Instinct is going to be the remainder of it, or we'll barely see Master Ultra Instinct. I'm imagining we'll see Master Ultra Instinct for literally probably a good 30 seconds to a minute of Goku going into it, and then that's the end of the fight. He just crushes Jiren from there on out, and there's no more because after that, again, the series is ending anyway, so you'd assume, okay, he crushes him and it, it's done from there. You know what I'm saying? So we're probably only going to see literally a glimpse of the mastered ultra instinct and who knows if goku will be able to even go into that uh, in the future but this preview 129 could potentially be that episode if they're putting all their resources and they're using this time this break to add extra elements and extra shadings and all that shit to make this episode look as good as it possibly can then maybe 129 is the creme de la creme kind of curious again what do you guys think could this be 
the ultimate episode, the big finale at 1.30 might not even be that big of a deal. And if so, then definitely if you're a big fan of Dragon Ball Super, you do not want to miss episode 129 and this preview. My gosh, this is going to be breathtaking. I can't freaking wait. But that is all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fenev World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime and manga for life, boy. Bow. Have an awesome day, but seriously. Goku versus Jiren. This is probably going to be the biggest event of 2018 as well. Get hype!